Munster playing with the gale at their backs, sideways rain in court. You wouldn't have it any other way. And it's going to be like that all evening. And that is the quickest try you will ever see. Barely played 10 seconds straight from the kickoff. The handling error into the hands. No, there's not. I've asked 20. I've got to give you 20 seconds, OK? Shane McCarthy is the man quickest 30. to react to the bouncing ball. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Owen Watkins as well, I think. Bye! Tom Boat is selected to start. It's Steph Thomas on the loose head side for the Ospreys tonight. Two very good scrummagers. Steph Thomas has come in after six or seven years at the Scarlets, and we're very accustomed to seeing that off the base from Morgan Morris. Yes, He's going to. Oh, the Warren Gatlin playbook. First job is to take the delivery from Niall Scannell and Jack O'Donoghue obliges. Great leap and here comes that forward surge and it's an armchair ride to the line so far for Niall Scannell. Can he see the whitewash and can he get to ground? Now, there's the line beckons for Scannell, the referee scurries around to the far side and that is second try of the evening for Munster. O'Donoghue there and over the top from Casey on penalty advantage. Calvin Nash says thank you very much and patience, perseverance pays dividends and right on half time, Munster get their third try. And what an incredible pass by Casey as well. I know he had penalty advantage so you could say it was a, a pass to nothing really. He can always come back and play on, but you know there's so little room for mar our margin of error there. He had to get it right on the money for Calvin Nash. Very similar to the pass he slung out to Mike Haley off his left hand last week in Parma. That's an incredible pass. Look at that. Right into the bread basket. And the easiest to finish finishes for Calvin Nash. Yep. Not to be from the kicking tee, but they don't come any more difficult than that for Jack Crowley. But Calvin Nash with that third monster try. No platform, no chance whatsoever. I wonder will the conditions, if his pack of forwards can make some headway in this second half, can they get more involved in the game? That is the Ospreys chances utterly dependent on that. Just pops it into the onrushing Fitzgerald. Connor Murray. Garen Phillips with a big tackle in there. Murray wants more, that's clever, and it opens up for McCarthy. Might have given the pass, no he does! Bonus point try for Jack O'Donoghue. Lovely little set-piece move. Disguise, Jack O'Donoghue, fourth try of the night. Brilliant interplay here. You can go and have a chat. Little one-two, great offload. And we've seen little flashes from Munster. I may have said a few minutes ago, we haven't seen much from them. We have just seen little flashes. You know, the conditions obviously aren't suiting them in terms of how they want to play, but given the conditions, that's a superb score. Nice from Munster, Munster hand under the game. Nothing doing here. Penalty advantage, Munster have turned it over, but the Ospreys get the decision. Five minutes left. Can they find a way to the trial on the tap and go quickly? Foot shy. Oh, it's a little bit loose. Jack Morgan now backs his power and his strength, and he's going to be held up here. Is he over the line? It was a Number final 18. warning. And he's going to his pocket. Stephen Archer is going to 18. finish the game in the bin here. Okay. Go, go, go. And that will do off the park from Tony Butler. Will do. He's thumped late for his efforts. There is Mike Adamson's whistle and it's job done for Munster tonight.